Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Dockridge on Debian. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So, Dockage is a fancy, easy to use, and reactive self hosted a Docker composed YAML stack oriented a manager. And um, it's trying to be a lightweight version of Portainer, it looks like. And it has stacks over here. Then you're editing. It, it looks almost like Uptime Kuma because it's made by the same person. Um, it's got qu quite a few features. And this is the UI. And then um, there's some screenshots of it. And Jellyfin. And then the console. And then here's the container editing. So it's pretty neat. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Scripts. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to uh, scroll down to install or update Dockage right here. And then I'm going to go into run.sh. So it's going to check if the script is run as root. And then it's going to check if a Docker CE 20 plus, uh, 20 plus is installed. And then it's going to put a, a save it in the, the variable. And then it's also going to check if podman is installed. It's going to save in the variable. And then uh, check if either a Docker CE or podman is installed and give the user the option to install if not. So, so it's going to give the user, if these aren't installed, to, uh, to say a yes or no on wanting to install Docker. And if the user uh, d d does say no, then it's going to also give the user an option to install podman as a and else and then y or n and then um if if for some reason the user doesn't install any of them then it's going to say please install docker ce or podman manually to proceed and it's going to exit so it's going to check if dockage is installed by the opt uh, dockage right here and then if it is uh, uh installed it's going to say Do dockage is already installed do you want to update it and then it's going to go through the steps of updating it if the user does want to update it and with the y and uh, which that means yes and then it's going to say dockage has been updated it's going to pull it and then a docker impose if do if dockage is not installed or updated we're going to continue with the installation so it's going to set some default values so stacks directories opt stacks the port is 5001, create directories. So, so we're gonna make sure that uh, these directories are, are created, uh, uh, that this directory up here is created. So um, it's going to um, uh, do the dockage directory right here, which is right here, check if dockage is installed. And then it's also going to check if directories uh, for the stacks directory right here. And then it's going to download the Docker uh, Compose from this, the raw, right, right here. And uh, then it's going to say Dockage uh, Directory right here, and then Compose.yaml. And then now we're going to start a Dockage uh, based on the installed run, uh, container runtime. So if Docker is installed, it's going to start it with Docker Compose. And then if Podman is installed, it's going to start it with, po with Podman. And then if for some reason these both fail and it's not installed, which it should have been installed up here, then um, a neither Do Do Docker CE nor Podman is installed and cannot proceed. So uh, then it's going to go down here and get the LAN uh, IP from the, the host name. And then it's going to say Dockage is now running on LAN IP and then the port. So... That's a little bit how the script works. So I'm going to go backwards into how to use right here. I'm going to uh, copy this. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. 
So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, I'm starting with a fresh install of Debian, and I'm SSH in the server. So, I'm going to paste in the uh, a command, and then I'm going to run it by return or enter. Now, it's going to say, neither Docker CE nor Podman is installed. Do you want to install Docker CE? So I'm going to press Y and then return or enter. Now it's going to download and install Docker. This could take a bit. Now it's going to download the a Dockerage a container and it's going to get extracted and getting it up with docker a, comp a compose so now it's up and running and now you see dockage is now running on this ip and port so i'm going to copy it and then i'm going to go over to my browser and go, go to the ui so now i'm going to go to the url the ip and then the port so uh, we copied that i pasted it in so i'm going to go to it so return or enter so you're going to put your username, your password, and then you're going to confirm the password. So I'm going to put a username and then password. Okay, now once you do that, you're going to say create. Now we're in. So uh, you can put a Docker run command right here, convert it to Docker compose. You can see the status of your, your stacks. So active, exited, inactive. You can go into comp compose here and you can compose a stack so you can name it like a uh, first stack and then um you can see your docker compose raw over here you can also see the containers that are in this docker compose so you can go into it and edit it so you can put it on 8081 and then you can see over here it did change so you can go ahead and sa save that and then now you have your first stack in there. You can also go back and edit and you can go and edit and change things down here. You can also go and add a new container to this Docker Compose. So I'm gonna add Caddy and then I'm gonna add the container. And then now we can um, see it down here. So you can edit the Caddy con uh, container of the, of the service down here. So now I'm gonna do Caddy and then um, I'm going to put latest on there. So now you can add a port. So I'm going to add 80, 82. And then I'm going to do 80. So now you, you, you can add uh, some more options down here. But it, it's a real visual way to compose the Docker Compose over here. So it's pretty neat. Um, so you can save it. And now, and now you have two containers that you can start. You can also check for updates for the containers and then it'll pull it and then now you uh, it says updated and then you can delete them to uh, you can delete the whole stack here you can also start the stack so i'm going to start it real quick and you can see a terminal log down here of what it's doing so um you can see that the, uh, the nginx service is running the caddy service is running. So you can see 8081 right here. So I'm gonna go to it and now you see the Nginx page. So I'm gonna go backwards and now I'm gonna test the caddy is working and you can see the caddy page. So it is working. You can go into the bash, uh, into the container right here. And then you can go back in the stack. You can go into bash and the ca ca caddy, but it doesn't allow you. So um, you, you can edit restart update stop and stop and down you can also delete the stack so now if you go up to console you can have a console uh, straight into the op stack right here the uh, so now you can go over here and you can scan the stacks folder for any changes and then you can go, go to settings you can change the primary host name you can change the language you can change your password and, and disable auth if you want to, and then you can log out. You can also go to the about and you can see the ver version that it's using. 
and you can check update on a github show update if available and also check uh, beta releases so so that, that's a little bit about docker gui so i just uh showed you step by step on how to get docker running on debian so if you like this tutorial subscribe comment like and support the channel and if you have any video suggestions or you need community support you can go down to the big bear community and join our forum there's a link in the youtube description so stay tuned for more